In this video, I'm gonna give you my number one tip every personal trainer needs to know to scale their business. Okay, now this tip, you're gonna say, wow, I didn't even realize that. It's so simple. It's communication, how to communicate with your clients. Now, how many personal trainers out there, they feel they need to be the smartest person in the room, the egos are this big. There's so many of them out there, right? But the best way that you're gonna keep your clients coming back is when you communicate, you know, when you're explaining the workouts, when you're explaining exercises, they don't care about all this scientific terminology. They don't care. Make it simple. You know, these guys that are trained with you, nine times out of 10, you know, they haven't come from a fitness background. They don't know much about fitness. So you've got to make it dummy proof. So how are you explaining this stuff? It needs to be simple, simple and effective. If you're throwing out all this crazy terminology that they don't understand, what's that going to do? It's going to make them feel stupid. They're going to be intimidated. And then what's going to happen then? They're not going to want to come back because you made them feel this big. How many times, you know, I remember being in school and teachers would throw stuff at me and I, you know, they'd ask me questions and I wouldn't know the answer to it. I'd hate them for asking me or throwing those, this crazy terminology at me I didn't know. Um, you know, we've all been there. We've all been like under pressure a little bit and that's what you're doing when you're throwing all this terminology at them. They're not going to tell you, you know, can you say that again in a way I understand? They're not going to do it. They're just going to nod their head. Okay, and they're going to crack on the session. And what's going to happen then? They're going to do the exercise or the workout in you know, the, the incorrect way, and then they're going to get injured. Uh, so your instructions need to be simple and effective in a way these people are going to understand. Right? It's the general public. They're coming to you to give them guidance in the correct way, okay? And like, don't get me wrong, you need to have knowledge. Of course you do. Like, you need to keep learning, educate yourself, that's great. But they need to have the common sense how to transfer what you do know over to your clients in the right way, okay? Simple, effective, clients will be happy, clients are gonna keep coming back. But not, what I'm saying is don't stop learning, of course I'm not saying that. Keep expanding, keep learning, keep building, but then simplify your instructions and the way you communicate to your clients. I'm, I guarantee you they're gonna keep coming back. Like I said before, if you're throwing all this crazy technology, it's gonna scare them away, they're not gonna come back, it's gonna be bad for you, it's gonna be bad for them, bad for business, and then, you know, that's not good for anyone, okay? So I hope this helped, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like, uh, like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.